And secondly, do you see a love for God in your heart and a love for others? Now, I say especially Christians because of the list of verses there that I give you in your notes. John seems to make the issue of loving God and then loving others beginning with Christians. It's like if we can't love one another, we're not going to love others truly. And so because God has loved us, we love others, beginning with the people of God, especially Christians. Now, we know no one is going to love perfectly. If you look at your heart today and you're trying to see the love of God that's in your heart, you're not going to love perfectly. There's going to be examples in which you have failed to love. But if you know Him, there will be to some degree in your heart a love because we love because He first loved us. Us. There will be a love in your heart for God and for others. Maybe some of these tests, it's easy to see the opposite of them. So if, you, if there's the absence of love in your heart, or like John says in chapter 3, if your heart is closed to a brother who is in need, that absence of love would be evidence of no life in your heart. I remember years ago when... Um, our church was going to support, uh, actually this was a uh, church where I was previously, we were going to support my father's house, as we do here at Emmanuel. And we announced that we were going to support my father's house in Port of Prince Haiti. And uh, someone came up to me after we had made that announcement after the service and they said, I don't know why we're supporting kids in Haiti. There's, there's plenty of need in our own country. And I said, yeah, there, there certainly is. So obviously you're very concerned about the need in our own country. What are you doing right now and caring for the relief of the poor? And, and uh, what, how are you supporting that? And, uh, <laughs> so, you know, you think about it is, would that be the response of your heart to showing Christian charity to those who need just be close to it? Now, I will say this. I believe that that man was a brother, that he is a brother. Because it's interesting, not too long after that, he came back up to me and he said, we should be supporting those orphans in Haiti. As well as caring for poor among us here, we ought to be supporting. If we have the opportunity to support them, I don't know what I was thinking. See, that's kind of a cool thing when you think about it. Because if your heart is closed to love, you'd have to wonder, is the love of God in you? And yet having time to think about it and the Spirit of God working on his heart he came back and said, what was I thinking? I don't know, but I know this. If you're a true Christian, there will be love in your heart for God and others. 